Hi there, welcome to the Brown Lounge. I'm Holly Brown and today I'm so excited to have Mauro Gomarvi with me. Mauro is the chef and restaurateur of Asagio Ristorante and uh, he's a good friend and a wonderful chef. I've had the pleasure of uh, you. eating your Italian food right from your own kitchen. Oops, in my house. It was in your house, one. yes. yes. And at midnight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pasta <That's right>. fagioli. <laughs> it the was plenty midnight. wine was flying. <laughs> yes. I do remember that. But I've also had the pleasure of eating in his beautiful restaurant. And in fact, I've had this dish. This is one of my favorite dishes yeah. in your restaurant. In fact, so, every time you come, you order the same I know. thing. And I cannot tell you anything else. <laughs> I know, I'm boring. <laughs> but it's because it's so good. And Mauro also has, uh, has written a book, and uh, so actually this uh, recipe and many, many others are in the book, so you'll definitely want to get that book. I have one at home on my yeah. shelf. But, you know, tell us about the restaurant. Tell us what's in this dish. What inspired you to uh, put this one on the menu? You know, it, this is a very light dish, and I thought maybe we do something a little different because in Sicily, the ingredient like a currants, pine nuts, and a saffron is pretty big. Yeah. So that time maybe we do something light because lots of people are asking for cream and things. Mm -hmm. And I want to make something light, not so heavy. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about cream, Holly, I'm using maybe two t uh, tablespoons of the cream. Okay. But when we're talking about the ingredient, which is not here, is a secret ingredient. That's my secret blueprint. When during the cooking, I'm going to show you a little bit later on, is a pasta water. So in Italy, nobody throws a pasta water. Moms keep the pasta water for making minestrone, pasta fagioli, and everything. French use butter to shine everything up right. in a dish. Right. Italian, they use pasta water. Mm. Even you want to break any sauce, mm -hmm. even you're a bad cook, you cannot break the sauce with the pasta water. So this dish is called? It, this is it's called fusilli zafferano. Fusilli zafferano, zafferano, you can call zafran with a Z or a zafran with S. And is a, just like a, the most expensive thing you can find. But like every good thing in a life, you buy a little bit and it's go far, far, far <laughs> away. So zaffron is the same price as a gold per ounce. And, and it's worth every ounce. Every <laughs> ounce of them because it's really, it's also kind of um, make you laugh. Yeah. I don't know how you said that word in English. But. And you can do zaffron tea. In fact, in my cookbook, I had the recipe how to make a zaffron tea. Once you make it, you can keep them for six months. Oh, really? In the refrigerator and it stays. Oh, you can use it, you can add it, you can great. do whatever you want. That's good to know. And another thing about this thing, I don't believe everything should be, a, a, you know, non-fat, non-this, non-that. Yeah. I believe use everything real the way our generation, generation they use. But very good amount and the highest quality mm -hmm. ingredient. I agree with you. Nothing low fat goes into this temple. Everything that is yeah. high fat, but just, see I have this thing, it's the best bite theory. I love you that. put the best food on your plate, eat just enough to be satisfied, That's it, and Holly. you're happy. That's it. I you're mean, happy. Just, uh, <laughs> so stick around, we're going to show you how to make this wonderful dish, um, and uh, Mara's going to take you through it step by step, so stick around. This dish is? Step one is a dish dish, you know, you line up everything you need. Okay. Pasta. I use Barilla bread. It's not the most expensive one, but it's a well-maintained pasta. Okay. When you talk al dente, when the box says six minutes cook, you cook four minutes. Remember? Mm -hmm. Two minutes less. That's right. Because while you take them out, it's still cooking. And what do you say about pasta? Do not overcook for nobody. <laughs> and another right. thing, Holly, I when I see somebody put the pasta under running water, I will come yeah, up yeah. and knock after you. <laughs> Do not ever put the pasta under running cold water. Ever. 
the, ever, ever. The first time, well, the, the time we came <laughs> over to your house and just bombarded you and said, cook for us, Moro, at midnight, you said, I don't overcook my pasta for nobody. And yes. that is now something that my husband repeats repeatedly in my kitchen. <laughs> Kevin, I love you for that. <laughs> Thank you. Second thing is a racket, which is you, you call arugula. They call the rucola or racket. Mm -hmm. Third one is a sausage. Got to be Italian sausage. The way I like it is with oregano, uh, basil, mint, and also sage. Mm. And it's a mix. And then the other one is you can use Parmigiano Reggiano or Pecorino Romano. Okay. Both of them is a very high salt content. Yeah. So you don't need to use so much of them. Then heavy whipped cream, not 1%, not 2%, not non-fat. We want a heavy whipping cream. Yes. But we don't use that much of it. Heavy whipping cream is my friend. That's right. <laughs> and, and then we got the roasted pine nuts. Okay. And this is the Spanish and Mediterranean pine nuts. And you put in the oven, 350, just roast it, just get a little black. Okay. And then you got the salt, it's a sea salt. You got pepper, and then you have a currants. Mm -hmm. a little currants, sweet. Yeah, you can buy the currants from the, any supermarket. By the way, Holly, none of them, this is stuff, you have to go especially market for. Yeah. I don't believe those things. I believe. Italian cooking should be whatever you find your cabinet, mm. whatever you can do and you make it. I love it. I so, love it. Okay. And then saffron tea, and which is the saffron is a is a dry, and they come in. You're just gonna put it maybe a one espresso spoon of the saffron tea, and you put in a little bit of a, a plate in the oven. You make sure it get dry like yeah. a tea leaf. Sure. And as soon as it get dry, you boil the water. You add a one bottle of the water, like a 750 like a wine, yeah. for one teaspoon of the saffron. And that one can go far away. Mm. You can have them for six months, three months, whatever you want. You can use them very little. I will show you the amount. And just keep it use. in the refrigerator? Absolutely, you can keep it in the refrigerator. It. There is nothing, it. it can go bad about it. There's so can, water and saffron. You can uh, cook with saffron anytime. Anytime you want. I love Absolutely. it, I love it. Yeah. Okay, so step one is really getting your ingredients yeah. out. This is a fast prep dish. Very fast prep, That's and also right. olive oil. Mm. Olive oil, you gotta remember, you do not keep olive oil like a wine. It does not get better with age. <laughs> right. So you buy olive oil, you drink it, and you have it with your food. The reason I said drink it, I drink it every morning, and a one teaspoon after olive oil. You do? Yes. Keeps everything. Keep the color Good. right, keep everything right. <laughs> you know, when you get older, hey, you want to really be with the whole program, you know. This is my personal facial right. plastic stuff. Forget so. the baby aspirin a day, right? right? Yeah. Olive oil, olive teaspoon oil. of olive oil yes. a day, okay. That's, and that's yeah, you, you really had to use your olive oil not more than 18 months. Use it, don't keep it, don't use it for, you know, don't keep it for 10 years. It's not like a wine. And don't ever keep them above your stove also because mm -hmm. yeah. the heat and the light is the two things will kill the olive oil. So remember, heat, light. You don't want light, you don't want heat. Okay, thanks for those tips. You're welcome. Fabulous. Are we ready? Yeah, we're All ready. Right. Let's okay. do it. So now we're gonna start the cooking. So okay. it's a really fast prep. Okay, so first of all, we start with the olive oil. I'm talking about two tablespoons of olive oil, I can see. And I like to uh, put it right away my salt and the pepper and the olive oil for two reasons. The reason number one is I want to flavor and the olive oil goes inside the salt and pepper. The other reason is while I'm cooking, I always drink. Sometimes I forget to put them in. So, and I make sure this one goes always in. And the sausage, Charlie, I'm going to just get it, get it now. Kind of handful, like a, but this recipe is for four. So we got like a four balls, kind of sausage, kind of look, you know, like this. Okay. The sausage goes in only, so you break them, like this. So this is about the one pound of sausage, okay, for four pizza. You're making sure you do not want to overcook it. So what you do, you are the control of the knobs and everything. So very important, you break it down yourself, the sausage, don't allow them to cook one side and then go the other. Constantly stay top of them. You don't go out to the doorbell, you don't take a shower, you don't you know, be on a phone, you don't do nothing. You cook. I put a little bit of pineapple with the one we roasted. 
My brother keeps on him talking about cookie, but the recipe is on a cookbook, you will see. And then I got the currants, pull over the currants on it, right here. Then here they come a saffron tea, three tablespoons. Well, you're a nice people, I'm gonna have four tablespoons. And then, a little bit of heavy whipping cream, not that much, half a cup. And then all you gotta do now is the time, as we said initially, you're gonna gossip. You stay right here, talk about everybody else, your neighbors and everything, because now you gotta allow cooking take places without doing anything else. And in the meantime, you boil in the water. When the water is boiling, you add the salt and your water. Why? The secret weapon is your pasta water, if you remember. So you need that you know, flavor of the water. And the pasta, in Italy we use 100 grams a person, which is the package come in here is a pound. So pound is, in, is a 456 gram, and this is for four people, family up to four. Obviously, they all depends what kind of four. If you're my four, it's a little different. You have to more pasta. But if you're your four, you're perfectly right in the measurement. And I'm gonna stir the pasta a little bit. And people asking me constantly the question, how do I know my pasta is ready. First of all, the color change. The color of the pasta become yellow and they got foam. The moment you get the foam and yellow, that means out. As soon as you take them out, you stop the cooking for the water. But the pasta is hot still, you're gonna cook, keep going up. If the box said six minutes, please use the two minutes less, very easy. Okay, we can, you know, sometimes you drink, you forget about these things, but six minutes, you gotta remember this. And now, uh, you know, and then you, you, know, you, you let them boil. It has to be boiling water. You cannot add too much uh, pasta and a less amount of water. So you want a two-third water, one-third pasta. You want to have a room to be, you know, they be floating around, coming up, and like, like a playground. If you put too many things in it and the one things, it, everybody will not get attention. This way, everybody having a fun. So remember we're talking about the pasta water? The secret weapon? That's the pasta water. And I put pasta water. See, instead of adding more cream and more anything else, you just add pasta water. And look the sauce and about a minute or so, how beautiful it look. Even anybody wants to mess up right now, you cannot mess whatsoever. Because pasta water, it keep everything together. In Italy we call aqua della vita, the, light, the water of the life. Look at the color. Oh, See, you, you see how much cream you put, very little, right? Mm. But look at the pasta water, how much it changed the life here. So pasta right now is at four minutes, and we turn them up, and we move them over the colander, and we go all the way. Here we go. And what I do, Ollie, I do not shake them so fast because I want a little bit of pasta water still down there. So come back here, and here you go inside the dish. And as soon as I put inside, I turn everything off. This one, I don't want you guys to go at home. That's not good because your husband is going to kill you. And arugula, this is the moment it's going to go in right now. See? Look at the arugula. And pecorino romano or parmigiano reggiano. As we said in Italy, un po' di sale, un po' di pepe, non fa male. A little salt, a little pepper, never hurt anybody. This is, I call them tocco finale. The final touch should be a black pepper. I don't want to exaggerate, but they call me hand of the God. So you go like this. And then we got this right here. So this is what I'm going to feed your family today, because I'm cooking for you right now.
And this panale, I'm going to add more Pecorino Romano and a little bit more arugula at the top. Such a beautiful presentation for Thank family you. style. A, Just a, gorgeous. Just a family style. And here we are. And all, you, all you're missing right now is a nice bottle of wine. Look at that bit of this. Well, it looks like we have a fabulous dish here. I can't wait to try it, but I want to toast to you. Salute. Salute. Thanks Thank so, so much. much. It's a pleasure. Wonderful. Thank you. Salute, guys. Mm. We're going to share, right? Absolutely. Okay. I can't wait to make this myself. I'm going to feed you first. Can I do oh, that? Please okay. Do. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Is it balanced? Does it need anything? Mm. We're good? You don't overcook pasta for nobody. Do not <laughs> overcook pasta for nobody. It's delicious. If you want this recipe and want to try it at home, you can get Morrow's book. Is it on Amazon? Is it on Amazon? On yeah. Amazon. And uh, you can also go to thebrownlounge.com and get the recipe. Um, it's just delicious. Thank you. Join us again sometime. We're always cooking up something wonderful. We love having guest chefs come Thank on you. and show us some fun things to do. I love this recipe. Zafferano. The saffron. Mm, it, made it, it made it happen. Dish I want to just say thank you to, to you guys at home watching. And uh, Holly, thank you for having me on your show. Salute. Chin chin. Ciao. Ciao. Grazie. Mm -hmm.